my glue pot on, my glue gun on, I'm all set. This is the sign I'm gonna make my grapevine wreath with. And I've got a bunch of ribbon. So I'm gonna make a bow with it as well as soon as my laptop decides to figure out what it's doing so I can get it off my table. But I've got a craft outlet box. I wanna show you what I got because I've got some projects coming up that I'm excited about. I got some events coming up that I'm excited about. Yay. Okay, there it goes. So, get rid of this. I was gonna turn my my Mevo on today, but I haven't had time to mess with it, and I didn't want to mess with it on a live, so I figured I'm gonna go live again tomorrow too, so I'll just deal with it in the morning. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate it. Thank you, Willie. All right, you guys. So what I'm gonna do? I got a craft outlet box the other day, but I'm gonna need to share with you guys what I got. So I got this little sign. Isn't it cute with magnolias on it? So I'm gonna make a decorative shriek with that. Um, and it's gonna be kind of a, um, like an olive green, pink. Is it a little blurry? It doesn't look blurry on my end. It looks fine on my end. Um, green, pink, and cream. So I've got a bunch of magnolias behind me. It's gonna be really pretty. Um, and I've got this, it's a, it's like a green, it's like an all green and a gold mixed together for that same wreath. Sorry if it's a little dark in here. I've been having a week, you guys. My light, I have two light bulbs that went out out of three and I forgot to get some at the store today. <laughs> and I was at the store today. It wasn't on my list, so I didn't get it. Hey Dee, thank you for, thank you for spreading the love for me. I appreciate it. And yes, I did get some Christmas, so I got some of these candy canes. I'm thinking about doing either a centerpiece or a swag with this, okay. And I got some, these are, so far what I'm getting out of, well, it's my craft outlet, so got some berries, so those will be cute. You guys, these are my favorite. These little top hats. This is actually gonna be for a um, autumn swag. And I'll show you the hat that's going with it. So this is the hat that's going with it, little top hat. So cute. So I'm gonna do an autumn swag with that. Hey, Sandy! Thanks, Cam. Um, let's see, I got a bunch of stuff. That's some more. Of candy canes. These come two in a pack. So I got these two. I got two more of those. I got three of those. So excited. And let's see, I got some more of these berries. They're really glittery. I got four of these, I think. And I got some poinsettias for Christmas. Hey, Connie. And let's see, got some ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's got, got like a fuzzy edge to it, but that's gonna go in my Southern Charm wreath. So excited. And my Magnolia ribbon. And I got some pink striped ribbon. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. To go with the Magnolia. In the top hat, cute. Oh. Hold on. Did I lose my signal? Okay, I think I got gotcha. you. Um, anyway, I got this pink to go with my magnolia as well. And I got some more of this. I'm really into the Harlequin lately. And oh, I got some of this. It's frosted, but it's got little berries on it to go with my swag. And I got some two and a half of this. I really like the black stripe too. This is really cute. It's got little white fuzz around the edge, edge of it. Hey, Christine, how are you? 
Can you guys do me a favor and let me know if um, you can still see my live? I'm having issues. I can see your comments, but I can't see my live. Let me go out and go back in. Uh, Teresa, I got all of this from Craft Outlet. Hold on, let me go back in. Oh, just one of those days. I'm just having issues. And I got some more of this. It's got little berries on it. Little berries come off. This is kind of the same color as the 21 inch mesh. Um, but this is going to go for my autumn spread. And I got some more of this, which I love. It's got the green, orange, red all in it. Okay. Let me go. Let me do this. Since you can see me, I'm going to get out of my... I'm on my tablet and go back in because I can see your comments, but I can't see me. I can see it on my phone. And it's hot in here. There we go. Now I can see me. Okay, cool. But then, last thing, is I got this gold rail, which I'm going to make my autumn swag with. I wanted the copper, but out, the craft outlet's out of it right now. So I'm gonna go. I think gold will look really pretty with it. So that's my craft outlet stuff. And then let me show you what I'm gonna be doing for the wreath itself. There. Okay. Ta-da! Is it blurry? It kind of goes in and out, I think. Okay, so this is the sign I'm gonna make my grapevine wreath with. And what I'm gonna do first is I got so much, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it, but I got so much stuff. I got these cute picks at um, Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put those in there for sure. I got some black flowers, some purple, some orange. Um, I got these. At Deco Exchange, these are awesome. It makes it really easy by putting greenery in there. You just spread them out and then stick it in there. So what I'm going to do is make a <clears throat> a bow first. <laughs> oh, you guys! I have to show you this sign. Hey, Julie, that I got. I'm going to make a sugar skull wreath. Is that not cute? Is it not cute? I love it. And I got some ribbon to go with it. It's going to be really cute. So, yeah, I've got some projects coming up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven projects coming up. Not busy at all. Not at all. But that's good. That's good, right? Keeping busy is good. Okay, so I'm going to kind of move these a little bit. Let me show you the ribbon I'm going to be using. These are all my two and a half. And these are all my one and a half. You guys want I'm gonna have to turn my fan on because it is burning hot in here. Okay. Okay, hold on just a second and I I'm burning up. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're gonna do it, guys. Woo! There. I know, isn't it cute, Julie? I love it. I have never done one before, but I thought it'd be really cute for um Halloween. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you could spread the love for me, and I'm gonna pan down so you can see um, my what I'm doing with my ribbon. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with the black first. No. I'm going to start with this one first because it's um, thicker and it'll hold up some of the other ribbon 
better and then I'll put black behind it. So I'm going to move this behind me. I need a bigger table. I need a bigger craft room. I need my she shed. Need it. Okay. So I'm going to make, I don't want my tails too long. So I'm just going to make these about eight inches long and then scrunch it in the middle. Twist it. Put it in my easy bow maker. I'm going to pull all my tails down because I'm going to put my, I know you can't see it, but I'm going to put the bow underneath the, um, the sign. Okay. So, and then I'm going to make this about the loop about six inches. Um, and you guys, I don't know what kind of bow this is. I just, I just do it and then fluff it out from there. So I don't, I don't have a name for this bow. Hey, Susan. Hey girls, Susan's in the house. Hey, Lily. Thanks for coming guys. Susan, you can't hear it. Huh. Okay, so I'm then twist it. Loop in again. This I started with this ribbon because it's really stiff, and so it'll help hold up the other ribbon pretty well. And this goes to another six inches, and I think I'm gonna do two on each side. make four loops. See how stiff it is? <laughs> it's like messing with a toddler. Okay. Six inches on this side. I'm going to pull this one down. Twist it. You get really good at doing this with one hand. Okay. Come on. This one likes to twist. Six. And then you don't have to twist this one because you are going to be cutting it. You just cut it next to the one that's next to it, and you, that way you don't have to measure it. And I don't, um, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I don't dovetail mine until the very end because sometimes I end up having to cut my tails and I don't want to do double work so I just wait until the very end. I'm just going to pull these ones down, put this one up, I'm going to do the black. I'm going to only do two loops on this, um, on this one. So then the loops are going to go down to five and a half, make the tails about eight inches. Now this one is a black dupioni. I think that's how you say it. Um, and so you really don't have to twist it, but I, it's just a habit for me to do that anyway. So this one's gonna be at five and a half. Get in there. Pull the tails down. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Five and a half. Yeah, Connie, it's the um, it's the easy bow maker. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it gets blurry. It goes in and out. It's I think Facebook. Plus, we're having a thunder and lightning storm out here, you guys. So <clears throat> it's could be because of that. If it goes blurry in and out. My signal might be, not be so great. Um, Connie, I got the my Easy Bow Maker from Michaels. But if you don't have a Michaels near you, you can get it at um, Hobby Lobby might have it. I don't think Walmart has it. Last time I looked, I didn't see it. 
Um, Amazon would have it. The sign, oh, where did I get the sign? I got it from a lady on um, Etsy, but I don't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, but I will put the name of where I got the sign in this live. I can't remember. I got it so long ago. I love this ribbon. This is like my favorite ribbon for Halloween. Okay, so I'm again, I'm going to make this eight inches. And this one I will have to twist because it's Um, I got this one from Craft Outlet. I think I got all of this ribbon from Craft Outlet. So this one will be measured at five. Okay, pull it up, twist it. I don't know. Do you guys hear that thunder? Woohoo! I love thunder drumming. Ah, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. I knew it was something like that. Now since it's starting to go up, I'm going to take my pliers and put this in here so it holds it. I just want to get the bow out of the way so I can start, because the sign's going to be kind of a booger to put on. And I'll show you how I did it because the metal on the sign is really thick, so I can't use my beadsmith um, to poke a hole in it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use those um, zip timeouts. And if you guys could do me a big favor, if you're just coming on, if you could spread the love for me, I appreciate it. I don't even know how to do that. Is it like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now this one is one of my favorites too. Um, I don't really have to twist it just because it's the same on both sides, but I do anyway just because it's a habit. I'm just going to do two. And then this one will be at four and a half. So when you're doing a bow... <clears throat> Unless you're doing like a funky bow. A funky bow, the um, loops are pretty much all the same size. Um, they're usually anywhere from um, six to five, depending on how big you want your bow, uh, which is the kind of bow I usually do on my, um, like my lantern swags, I do a funky bow. Um, but when you're doing just a regular bow, you just wanna make sure that you're going down about a half a size. A half an inch each time. Isn't this pretty? Love this. Love it. So if you guys are thinking about doing uh, your fall, your Halloween, and Christmas, um, I would definitely start looking at getting your stuff now. Um, even though it's not even summertime yet, because I have seen on Craft Outlet that there's some Christmas stuff, Halloween, or fall, all that, that's already out of stock. So... Thank you, Connie. I appreciate it. You're awesome. And then what I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm going to put my zip tie. I use this really long zip tie. You don't have to use it this long, but this is just the one I have. It's about 14 inches long. I'm going to stick it underneath all my loops. That way, when it starts to get too heavy, it it's a little difficult to start doing that, so I do it ahead of time before it starts getting too heavy. So, now, let's see. I will do the orange next. Hey, Brittany! Brittany's in the house. Okay, so I'm gonna make all of these about inch, inch, eight inches. Scrunch it in the middle. This one doesn't, I don't have to twist it because it's the same on both sides. So, so that one was four and a half. So this one's going to be at four. I'm only going to do two loops on each side for this one. 
pull all my tails down, put all my loops up except the two purple at the bottom, purple and uh, harlequin. I'm good, girl. How are you? Oh, I know why I did that. I'm like, why did that happen? I had some leftover of another roll so of the same ribbon, so I just added it to this one. I was like, what the, f what the heck? <laughs> Thank you, Britt. I appreciate it. Thank you for spreading the love for me. Okay. And I used to put rib, um, rubber bands on my ribbon, but I don't, I use pins now just because the rubber bands, um, it makes a crease inside my ribbon. Okay. So I'm going to use, I got this two and, or one and a half of the same ribbon I have on the bottom. So we're going to use this one because this ribbon that I have, which is also, I have the two and a half is really kind of thin. So, and this is really stiff. So this will help this um, loop stand up and again I'm only going to do eight inches this one you're going to have to pinch in the middle and twist so that one was four right so this one will be at three and a half and when you start making bows if you haven't started making bows yet you'll realize that once you start getting all of this on here it does to get it start a little bit heavy so it's easier if you put and I know it's gonna be different for everybody so whatever is easiest for you but um, you'll see that you'll want to start putting your zip tie or whatever you're gonna use you can even use um, pipe cleaners I need that underneath it's just gonna make it a lot easier but whatever it's up to Whoever, whatever your preference is. No worries, Britt. No worries. But thank you. You're awesome. Okay, that one. And then I want the striped one on the top, but I'm only going to do one loop for that one. Okay. And this going to be eight inches. This one, I don't have to twist because it's same on both sides. So that one was at three. Sometimes I forget, so that's why three and a half. Okay, so this one's gonna be at three. done guys and then we can start fluffing the bow so what did I wanted to tell you guys when um, I first started is I got some exciting news coming up so excited. I'm gonna be starting my own um, design group in September um, it's gonna be tons of fun we're gonna do giveaways we're gonna do lives um, all kinds of stuff. But now the giveaways that I do on mine are going to be a little bit different than what you may have seen before on others is I like to have <clears throat> my members be a little bit more involved on my site. So I'm going to make this one, it's only about two inches. Okay. Um, so when I do a giveaway, basically it's going to be, um, either I'm going to make it to where it's the, the winner's pick of the project, color and ribbon, or I'm going to pick the project, color and ribbon, but I'm going to do it live 
and I may have the winner on the live for me so they can be involved as well. So it depends. It's going to be a lot of fun though. So and keep in mind, um, that's going to be, it's going to be a paid membership, about $15 a month, but it's going to be super affordable because there's going to be a lot going on. So now what I do with my zip tie is I try to hold this down as much as I can with this finger, hold the zip tie through, and I take my um, pliers and pull it. Okay, and that way I can take this out and on the floor and see how there's this groove right here from the post. You just want to move your tie over into that groove, pull it just a little bit. You don't want to pull it too tight because you're still going to have to um, fluff this. Now pull all of your tails down. Okay. Then you want to pull these up, these will go down. You want to pull, um, make this side go up and this side go down. So you want to kind of make it the opposite of where they're at. So this one, that's why you don't want to make it too tight because you still need to move all of these. And then once you get them to where you want, then you can tie. Mm -hmm. You can tighten your zip tie. Is that one, that one, and then this one will be in the middle. Come on. In the middle. I need to cooperate. There we go. Okay. Now. And I got everything where I wanted it. For the most part. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna take my pliers. And oh, you know what I need to do first? I almost forgot, you guys. Almost forgot. I need to get my wire. <clears throat> now you can either put wire behind this or you can use a um, pipe cleaner. I use um, wire just because it's easy for easier for me to go through the grapevine or decamesh or whatever I'm using. But it's totally up to you. Hey, Miss Emma. Sounds good to me, girl. Don't work too hard. Okay, so you want to get this kind of even. Then you can pull it really hard. Be careful not to smack yourself in the face. I've done that, I don't know how many times. And then cut the texture. Okay, so then what I do, now when I make a, a bow to sell, let me show you how I do this. I will take a satin ribbon, that's about the same, but one and a half inches. One inches, one and a half inches. And I'll take it like this, and I'll do about 30, 30 inches, and I'll pull it in half like this, and I'll make a loop and squish it, and then I will put this on the bottom before I start putting all of my ribbon on. And the reason why I do that is because if, you're, if that way somebody has a, whoever buys it, has a loop to be able to hang it on a wall or the door and the tails gives the customer an opportunity to tie it to something so they have a loop to hang it or they have the tails to tie it so whichever they want to want to do that's just how I do it so I'm going to take all of my tails okay like this pull them together and then I'm just going to fluff Fluff these. Okay, just like this. This one doesn't want to go down. Just like 
that. Just take your fingers, put it inside, and pull it apart. Now, if they're big, like this one, you can just take your whole hand in there and spread it apart like that. Like the six inch one, sometimes, my hands are small, so sometimes I have to take my, hand, my whole hand and put it in there. Just as long as you put your, finger, your hand in there or your fingers in there and spread it apart. Almost done. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish fluffing this when I get it on the grapevine, but just so you can see what it looks like beforehand. Sometimes you can, if the loop seems a little bit bigger than the other one, you can kind of pull it through um, the tie. Okay. There we go. Okay, so, so far, this is the bow we have. Hey Debbie, how are you? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail my ribbons. I have an idea of how long I want them to be. And I don't have a certain measurement that I want them at. I'm just kind of cutting them. And I'm going to show you how to kind of curl them with your fingers. So when I dovetail, what I do is I take this ribbon, fold it in half, and cut it at an angle. And it makes a dovetail, just like that. Sandy, thanks, CC. Now I normally make my tails, um, especially the two and a half inch, a little bit longer than the one and a half, because I like them to stand out a little bit better. But seeing how I'm going to be putting florals in here, I don't want the ribbon to hide my flowers. Okay, so that one, there's this one. But if you want longer tails and you're doing a grapevine, you can always put the um, bow at the very end instead of in the middle. Make sure I don't lose it. Skip one. Okay, so what I do, since I have my wire back here, kind of gives me a handle to hold on to. And you're gonna be messing with your ribbons a lot. So that's why I don't really totally fluff it out until I get it on the grapevine. And by the way, this is my first grapevine doing live. So a little nervous, so bear with me peeps. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take your ribbon and you wanna Pull it between your finger and your index, your thumb and your index finger, and then just pull it down like that. Okay. Now what this does, it's a kind of with the wire in it, it kind of curls your see how it curls like that?
Now, sometimes I'll take my two in, my index finger and my middle finger and do the same thing. It depends on like with the two inch ribbon. Like I said, my fingers are small. My hands are small. So I'll do that sometimes with the uh, two and a half inch just because it's easier for me. Sure, I'm gonna spread these out a little bit. There, that's what it looks like once you have all the tails curled. Thank you, Nancy. So I'm gonna put this aside, and now I'm gonna get my little um, handmade, handy dandy table easel. So what I did is I couldn't find one that I liked. So what I did is I'm going to pull this up so you can see. I guess that would help, right? Okay. So what I did is I got an easel from Hobby Lobby. It's a seatable easel. Okay. And I put a hook on it from um Lows. So that way I can have just a little easel. So it does its purpose for now. Um, so I might start making them and selling them. I don't know yet. We'll see. So a little bit so you can see. There we go. So Hey Jan. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Lori. Okay, so let me clean up my table a little bit. Get the ribbon off of it. I'm gonna put the bow and the sign on first. I mean the yeah, the bow and the witch on first. Just because it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Okay. So I'm thinking about putting the sign, let me do this, no, it's almost too small, isn't it? So let me do this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm improvising. Great one. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Use my big one. I tied this too tight. Hold on. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm going to pull it down. So you guys can see it better that way. There. So, I'm going to pull up just a little bit so you can see, and yeah, maybe I can zoom out, you can see. Okay, hopefully I can have my Mevo working tomorrow. I've had it for a while, but I'm kind of scared to use it because I'm just definitely afraid of like new technology. So, I'm going to try to mess with it tomorrow. Hey Norma! Hey Jean! Okay, so I'm thinking about putting this right here <laughs> and my bow like right here. What do you think? I think that looks cute. Put it up maybe a little bit higher. That way the tails are going down. I think that looks cute. Okay, so. 
what I did with this, because this sign is a little bit thicker, so you can see, is I went ahead and put these, I don't normally use these, the zip tie mounts on here, but I use um, E6000, is that what it is? Yeah. And hot glue. So hopefully they don't, and I let it sit for a while, so hopefully they don't come off. Okay, let's get crack a lack and Okay, so I'm going to put this one like right here. Trying to find a hole. Come on. this in the back. Nose itchy. Actually, I need to bring it up more. Hey guys, this is what I'm doing the sign first. I hate the freaking sign. I hate it. I don't hate the sign particularly. I just hate putting it on. It's such a pain in the rear end. What I might do is I might put another one on this side and put it through here because it's kind of wobbling a little bit, but I'll fix that later. This will just be so you can see. Uh, hey, Sabe. How are you, girl? Okay. So... It is muggy here today. I don't you know you guys deal with humidity a lot in some places that you're at, but we don't here in Colorado. It's always so stay up there. It's always so dry. Uh, so muggy right now. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll fix the bow a little bit later when we get closer to being done. Um, because I can move this up a little bit so it'll hang down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to do that now. And then. Okay, now, um, 
where did I get my signing in? I got it from, hold on, let me look. Got it from three, three birds nest company on Etsy. I got this sign from. I know, isn't the witch cute? I love the witch. <laughs> the girls were fighting, Brittany. They don't fight. Come on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. Now these I got from uh, Deco Exchange. And you can find them on DecoExchange.com. Okay, I'm just going to spread these out a little bit. You want to kind of bend them a little bit at the tops because they don't want it to be completely straight, right? Because plants aren't normally completely straight. They curve, they twist, they turn. Okay, so this is going to be fun. I just want to, now before you glue anything in, you want to place it first so you know where it goes. Okay, I think it'll be, I can't get this thing to stay straight. There we go. So I think we'll be good with that one there. Kind of bend it down a little bit. So that one will kind of go there. And then what I'll do is I'll glue some of a biscuit. I just had stuff fall on the floor. My flowers are falling on the floor. Okay. Okay. So that one will go there like that. Me too, Sabe. Me too. I love Halloween and fall. Okay, so take this one. Can you see that? Okay. I just want to make sure you can see the grapevine. Hold it down a little bit. Spread it out. We're going to have to kind of curve this one a little bit. You guys, I'm so excited. I got, and I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help myself. I got some, um, Deco Exchange has these little packages on picks that are the black harlequin. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stick this one back here. this way and then once I glue these in I can start adding flowers okay. so let me do this I'm gonna take this one out put some glue on it let me turn this up there we go Now the skillet, you can, I know you can't see it, but um, I got this glue skillet from Amazon. It's basically a miniature skillet. Okay, let me glue on my Come on.
You guys, I haven't done one of these before on a live, so bear with me. <laughs> Road rage is sitting in, Sue. So. Oh my god. I have the worst. My husband and I both have the worst road rage, I swear. I, well, we live in the country, so we don't have traffic out here, but we get into town, or trying to drive into town, I must say, and oh, it's just horrible. People cut you off, they're just rude. I mean, you know, there's no need for that. There just isn't. I don't know why people just can't play nice. But yeah, you get me and my husband both in the car. Yeah. I want to kind of like this. I'm going to have to move that up just a little bit. Not. There we go. More. This way. See what I mean? You guys are going to end up playing with your ribbons a lot. So, I'm just trying to run over them so they're kind of even. There. Okay. Now, we can start putting flowies in. I'm so excited. Or, maybe I should put these in first. I'm just playing along as I go, guys, so... I don't have any rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just looking, just putting them on to what looks good. And these picks, you guys, I got at um, Hobby Lobby. Oh, you went to AC War, Susan? Lucky girl, lucky girl, lucky girl. It's just like that. Can you guys see that okay, or do I need to like move it up, down, out, in? Okay, I'm gonna cut these. I think I'm gonna put these. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Oh, these are gonna be a bugger. my bigger wire cutters because those are not big enough. Okay, let's try these. These are bigger. glad we don't have an AC more here because I we would never have any money to pay bills <laughs> just being honest oh come on these do not want <sighs> kidding me right oh there goes that one <laughs> there's shrapnel going around in here okay so Okay, so with these, you also want to kind of pull these apart. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put this one right here. Let's try that in 
here. Oh, I would like to the back. I know, right? I'm just glad there's nobody in here, Brit, so I'm not, you know, killing somebody. What I may have to do is I may have to take these apart. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take these apart and put them in once I have the flowers in. No. It even looks, it makes it look a lot more easier than how I'm doing it. Thanks. Okay. So I think I'm going to put some flowers in first and then I'm going to put these in later. Let's see, I got some black ones. Let's start with the black ones first. These will be, I think it'll be easier to put these in first and then kind of, I'm just going to kind of cut these. I'm just playing this by ear, so I don't really have any rhyme or reason of how I'm putting these in here. Um, I'm just putting in these in here to see how the car and a curve. So I have some of this green. Thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. Let's do another green. And it's always funny how they never want to go back in the same spot I just had them at. And 
purple one right there. I'm going to put some leaves in there too, so. Let's do this one. If you guys could do me a favor, for those of you just joining me, um, if you could spread the love for me, I appreciate it. I probably won't use all these flowers, but we'll see how it goes. Willie. Oh, you got one too? You know what's funny is when I first got this sign, <laughs> so many people wanted it, and the lady that I got the sign from, three sisters or whatever it was, she goes, well, because of the advertising, and I've gotten so many sales after you put your, um, my witch face on there, that I want to send you a free sign. I'm like, okay, I can handle that. You know, that was pretty nice of her. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that looks cute. I don't want to put little. I don't want to put flowers in there yet until I'm done with the bow. I'm gonna put some purple in here. And I got these. I think these are. Crocuses. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Oh, stuff keeps falling on the floor because I don't have a big enough table. Stop falling on the floor. One more time. That one right there. Mm -hmm. Put that one in there. And in there. That look cute. That's pretty. So the trick is to these grapevines, and I made the mistake when I first did my first grapevine, is I was putting everything, I was gluing everything as I was putting them in. And there were some pieces that I'm like, oh, I don't like that there. Guess what? Um, too bad. Too bad, so sad. You're stuck with them. So, <laughs> put your floral, your flowers, your greenery, or whatever in um, the spots you want them in. Make sure you like it there, and then glue it in. Otherwise, it's a big mess. Big mess. Purple looks cute in there. Okay, so that one's done. I just I throw those on the floor because I don't want them. Um, filling up my garbage can. Sometimes you also want to kind of save these sometimes too 
Um, they make good, um, if you need for like lantern swags, if your uh, picks are too short. this one. Have any of you guys started um, doing any fall or Christmas yet? I know it's not summertime yet, but um, I've learned that you pretty much have to be about four months ahead of what the seasons are right now. So, I'm going to get some of my greenery out as well, if I can find it. And I have some, I have a big bag of greenery that I saved, so I'm going to add some woods in here. Mm. I like these. Mm, I like these. I like these ones. These came off of, um, the hydrangeas? I think it was my hydrangeas that I used. My, yeah, they came off of my, um, burgundy hydrangeas that I used on my other grapevine. So, let's see. I'll put this right here. Mm. I just want to kind of put it, I don't want to cover up my nose. The hard part is not covering up the witch. That's the hard part. Hmm. I'm going to have to put some little leaves in there. Little ones. Hey Joyce, how are you? Hey Edna, thank you for coming. First time. If you guys could do me a favor, if you could spread the love for me, I appreciate it. You know, I personally, um, I really like fall and Halloween and Christmas. I like summer, but summer is not really my favorite to um, do reset. I don't know. I mean, I've done a couple of them, but I'm not, they're not my favorite, let's just say. I don't still want. And these are a little bit more time consuming. I love doing grapevines. They're a little bit more time consuming though than Decometries, just because I've done more of those. Um, but let's see. Let's put an orange one in there. Oh, I like these leaves. So what I'll do is I'll put the flowers in there, and then I'll kind of put some leaves around. Aren't these pretty? Pretty. Oh, that's cool. And so that's that awesome. Good luck on your fundraiser. Ouch. Ow. Blue is hot, people. The blue is hot. The same. That looks pretty right there. Um, and then I've got a, I thought I had another orange one, or a green one, right to, didn't I have another orange one? 
I'm just a hot mess, you guys. Just a freaking hot mess. I thought we had two orange ones. Unless it's sitting on the... Oh, here it is. It's almost falling off the table. I love these. These are so pretty. But God, they're expensive. Well, they're not bad. They were $5.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I got these at 50% off, so I guess they weren't too bad. I only get Hobby Lobby's flowers when they're 50% off, because some of them, like these, can be really expensive. So, right there. leaves I want to put in here. These will be cute for right here. These leaves will be perfect right by her face. It won't cover up anything. So when you're doing um, your flowers, if you don't use the leaves, you're just using the flowers, save your leaves. Put them in like a zip pop bag or something like that, like I do with these. Because you never know when you're going to need some leaves. Like I will take all these leaves off and save them. I love the look of these leaves. They're really fall looking. There we go. Okay. Here's that one. Really? And you could also, and I might do that, as I got some fall leaves, I might put some of those in here too. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to just put this down on the floor for right now. Susan, how long does it take you to drive home from, from work? Are you quite a ways from where your house is? I used to have to drive from here, my house obviously, to Denver, which was an hour and a half drive one way. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Not gonna do it. So, I hear thunder outside again, guys. Well, at least my signal didn't go out. I always thought my signal was gonna go out because we had a thunder lightning storm come up earlier. here. And a little bit of hail. We had some pea sized hail. Not fun. Well, that's not too bad. Not too bad. 20 minutes. Oh, in there. Yeah. 
It's looking better. It's looking better. This one over here. Okay, it goes right there. So, have you guys made the grapevines before? Or? making great lines. It's kind of, it's fun. There we go. Okay, so that one's done. Purple. Let's do, I got a green one. I got some green ones. Aren't they pretty? I can put some leaves in between. I'm just trying to place this to where it's not... There. Okay. It just takes practice, Antoinette. I mean, this is only my third grapevine, so I still, I need lots of practice. So don't worry about it at all. It's just the more you do them, the easier they get. It's all about placement. Right now, I don't know if I like all my placement. Let me see where my thing's at. I know when I watch other people do theirs, like Laura Jean or <clears throat> Scott Waterman or... Um, Damon do theirs. They make it look so freaking easy and then I try to do mine. I'm like, I don't, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Okay. Let's put some leaves in there. Maybe that might help. Like I said, I was trying to get an easel. I tried to make an easel with a painting easel to um, use for this. So I could put it on the table and it just... It wasn't working. So I'm going to see about maybe making one. I might make some table wreath easels and sell them. I don't know. But I can't find one that I like. Okay. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. Kind of add some like, different greenery in there. Let me put another little leaf right there. Actually, I find um, making grapevines is very relaxing to me. I love, I like making stuff anyway, but 
I don't know, I just find it very, you have to really concentrate. So to me, it just takes a lot um, off of my mind that I'm thinking about and I don't know, it's my therapy. All my crafts are my therapy. If I didn't have a craft room, I don't, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I would go nuts. I would absolutely go bonkers. And these greenery from Deco Exchange, it makes it so much easier than getting a bunch of different kinds of greenery and putting it on because it's all one big, <clears throat> one big stem. You just stick it in there and start plugging flowers in it. You can move your greenery around as much as you want or wherever you want, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so we got some black ones. I love these. These are pretty. They're kind of, um, a really deep, dark purple. Okay. Let me know if you guys can't see or have a hard time seeing. I can move. Myself. These leaves are kind of pretty. You just don't want to, sometimes you have to shove them down in there because they don't want to go. Isn't that pretty, Lily? I mean, it's it's a such a dark purple that it almost looks black. I got all these flowers at Hobby Lobby for um, oh, there we go, fifty percent off. See how it's so purple? It just looks black. It's hard to see. There we go. Um, put this one up there. just came off. Huh. Interesting. I can just put it right there. No, I have to use this down. There. I'm telling you, it's having a hard time today. <laughs> and I'm going to be going live tomorrow too. Tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure... If I'm gonna make, I might make a bee wreath, mm -hmm. or I might make, 
doing the Halloween break. Right, I might do my fall swag. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. But I know I'm going to be going live again tomorrow. So probably about the same time. 2.30 maybe. But sometimes with these leaves you can just kind of stick them in places. You don't really have to put them anywhere. It just depends. And I'm sorry you guys, you can't see what I'm doing, but it, I've got a weird angle. What do you guys think so far? Is it kind of out there or what? Hey Lisa, how are you? Hey girl. Trying to do my Halloween grapevine. And I'll also have this up on um, YouTube as well, so. Let's put some purple in here. What do you guys, put some orange. These little orange ones are cute. Give it some little Let's see. Oh, that's cute. It goes the black flower. I like that. No worries, Lise. There's always a replay, or you can watch it on um, YouTube, which I'll probably get it uploaded tomorrow sometime. These kind of things are wispy or cute. There. That looks kind of cute. Put some on here. I always buy a bunch of flowers and I don't use them all, but they're always good for other projects. Like these orange ones would be really good in another fall. Reese. I like my grapevines full. Oh, I just got one finger. That one. I'll put some more of these purple ones in there. You don't want to. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll take this one off.
hardest thing about these great times is where to place everything. I think that's the challenge, the, the biggest challenge that I have. Mm, that one looks cute there. And then purple up here. sure I'm liking this one, but we'll see. I've got a lot to learn on grapevines, but this is my first one that I've done on live. And I don't know if I like this one or not. Okay, let's do this. Let's take some leaves. Put it right there. It was um, three, <laughs> I know it was three sisters something company. Three sisters. Um, God, where was it? I think it was three sisters sign company. everywhere. So, let's see. Oh, I know what I was going to put in there. Duh, the witch hats. I can't forget the witch hats, right? No wonder it looks off. Can't forget the witch hats. Sorry guys, I know you can't see, but I have to stand up to do this. Hmm. Okay, I'll stick that right there. Come on. Derby City Re Shop, yes, that's it. Thank you, Lisa.
I love your witch, Lisa. Love it. So has tons of other people. They love it. Do that one. Yeah, Lisa, your um, your hat, your witch is a hit. Oh, crap. That looks cute right there. People love it. Thank you. Glue all over me. Okay, I'm gonna take this ball. My lighting is not so great in here, guys, because two of my bulbs blew out yesterday and I didn't have time to get new ones, so bear with me. Oh, that looks cute right there. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate you for blessing my page. about putting some of this purple stuff in there. You know, and with, with wreaths like this, you don't have to use everything that you get. That oh, looks good right there. Um, let me move this chair. Because you're going to have a, st a lot of stuff left over. So, I don't use everything that I get. But, I can always use it for something else. I think that looks really cute right there. And with the... I don't know if I'm going to use that. I only have this black. Like, I got two of these picks for the witch hats, but I'm probably only going to use one. The 
don't want it to, I don't want the bow to cover it up either, so I want it out far enough to where I don't want to cover up the witch face. Almost done, guys. I'm not going to add too much more to it because I don't want it to get too overwhelming. But at least you'll be able to see. Finished. I like this sparkly green plates. They're cute. And I'll put that right there. Thank you, Judy. I know you're the best at it, Lisa. You do so good on grapevines. I'm still trying to figure my stuff out. You're like the floral queen over there. Let's cut this out just a little bit more. I don't want it to go through the other side, but I want it to have a little bit of... And I don't want it coming out of her nose, either. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. No, I don't like that there. Okay, well, there's that. Um, I'll put this ball somewhere. I don't think I'm done with the sparkly stuff. Right there. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to see this up here. I'm going to maybe put one more leaf right there at the top. Lily? I like these leaves that the um, these big dahlias came off of because they're wired in the middle and they're bendy. Okay, so I didn't put any of this, but I don't think I need any. I had some of this too. But I think I might save that for something else. I don't... Okay. So... I need to step back and look at it. It's very full. What do you guys think? No, I'm actually... At least I'm actually using my phone as normal. I was going to set up my my amiibo that I got, but, um, I didn't have time to mess with it, so, but yeah, I'm on my regular phone like I normally do it. Mm. Hey, Miss Laura Jean, thank you for stopping by. I was just finishing up my grapevine. Um, not sure what I think of it yet, so, um, what do you guys think? I love the witch. She is fantastic.
You just woke up from your nap. I, I should have taken a nap today, but I didn't. If I would have taken a nap today, I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Here. So I got a little bit of purple, a little bit of green flowers, orange, black. And the umbrella matches a little bit of everything that's in there. This kind of matches her bow in her hair. Oh, really? I mean, Thanks guys. I don't think I need to add any more. I may try to rearrange some of the greenery that's in there. But that's a good thing about grapevines, you can rearrange everything. I like the little sprigs in here. Um, Lily, I don't really have a set time that I go live, but I'm getting ready to um, figure that out. So I may, I don't know. Um, I was thinking about 2.30 every day because that way it takes me about maybe two hours to get a wreath done and then I, my husband's home at five and then I can make dinner and spend time with him. Although, um, with baseball being on almost every freaking day at around 6 o'clock, I may just do it at night. I'm not sure yet. So, I think she's done. I'm not, I'm not quite, I don't know. I don't know. Get that done a little bit. I think I'm going to have to rearrange some of the greenery, greenery a little bit, but other than that, I think the flowers are pretty in there, you know, and I got some of that green stuff from the, and some sparkly stuff. Thank you, Miss Largini. Thanks, guys. I think, um, yeah, I'm just going to mess with the greenery and rearrange it around a little bit. Because I think that's why I'm not digging it right now. I like to place more of the flowers, but I think it's the greenery that I'm just, I just need to step back and, and fix it. But I like all the different colored flowers in it that are orange really tops. Maybe I might put some little flowers in with the bow too, I'm not sure. Yeah. Just mess with my bow constantly. Constant, constant, constant. Yeah, I can't say the S word. You guys can, but I can't, which is stupid. But. Yeah, they change so much stuff all the time. I can't, I can't keep up with the rules anymore. It's like, can we say it? Can we not say it? What are we saying now? <laughs> I don't think even Facebook knows what they're doing. And they could put me in Facebook jail for saying that. I really don't care. I just don't. I'm over it. Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Susan. So I'm going to be live tomorrow too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be making my 
falls. I might just make my fall swag. Um, I wanted to make my magnolia wreath, but I am waiting for my baby pink um, wreath form to come in from the wreath shop. And so that's the only thing I'm waiting for on that one. And I'm not going to make my Christmas swag yet because I'm still trying to find um, some of those, I think it's the 24 inch teardrop evergreen swags, which supposedly um, Sam's has, but I'm, I can't order $75 worth of stuff just to get a tear swag. And Hobby Lobby doesn't have them yet. I know, right, Laura? They're just so annoying. Every time I get used to something, they change it again. So I think tomorrow I'll probably do... I've also got the bee wreath. Maybe I'll do that one tomorrow too, since it's still summertime and I'll save my fall spike. So maybe I'll do my bee wreath tomorrow. And i got to make some bows, so I'm going to be doing some tutorials on bows. No, um, Antoinette, I didn't make my caddy. It's actually from um, Amazon. I got it on Amazon, and then I put it on top of a um, white plastic Lazy Susan that I got from Walmart. I know, right? She said she was going to, and she's supposed to be going to Sims. Is it this week or next week? And she was going to get some for us. I need at least like three. I need one for fall, Halloween, and Christmas. I <laughs> And I'm getting ready to do, oh, I've got, I'm not getting ready to do, but I have a huge, I think it's a 42 inch evergreen teardrop swag that I've got laying on my on my spare bedroom floor. And that's going to take up this whole table. Um, so that'll be doing for Christmas too. I agree, Lily. They should. They just need to stop, right? I have stuff in my <laughs> my cart at Sims, but I need to like chill out buying stuff for a little bit until I can get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Oh, you just got a bunch of stuff from Craft Outlet. Oh, I want to see. Are you going to do a live on opening that, Susan? Or have you already opened it? cake. <laughs> That's okay. I like cake. Uh, I like greenery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pull this up a little bit. I'm going to be messing with it, I know. Uh, well, Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing another live tomorrow. Probably my bee wreath. So, um, and then I'll do my um, fall swag after that. I don't like this. Um, but I've got some projects coming up. Um, I'm going to try to start making, I found this really cute door hanger thing and you take like a, a Kentucky Derby hat and you put ribbon around the rim and then you glue some flowers around it so I think I might start doing some of those too those look really pretty have fun shopping Laura shop for me too <laughs> I can't wait to see what you get so thank you all for coming I appreciate it um, I will see you tomorrow and I will have this um, uploaded to YouTube um, tomorrow as well so you can see it there or you can watch the replay if you need to on my Facebook page um, and if you guys have any questions about anything let me know I'll take some pictures of this in the morning after I've messed with it some more um, and that way you can see what it looks like in the daylight and after it's been fixed
So thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Sims, was it this week or next week? She was going to get some for us. I need at least like three. I need one for fall, Halloween, and Christmas. I, and I'm getting ready to do, oh, I've got, I'm not getting ready to do, but I have a huge, I think it's a 42 inch evergreen teardrop swag that I've got laying on my, on my spare bedroom floor. And that's going to take up this whole table. Um, so that'll be doing for Christmas too. I agree, Lily. They should, they just need to stop, right? I have stuff in my, <laughs> my cart at Sims, but I need to like chill out buying stuff for a little bit until I can get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Oh, you just got a bunch of stuff from Craft Outlet. Oh, I want to see. Are you going to do a live on opening that, Susan? Or have you already opened it? <laughs> I like cake. <laughs> That's okay. I like cake. Uh, this is greenery. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hold this up a little bit. I'm going to be messing with it, I know. Uh, well. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, keep in mind, I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing another live tomorrow. Probably my bee wreath. So, um, and then I'll do my um, fall swag after that. I don't like this. Um, but I've got some projects coming up. Um, I'm going to try to start making, I found this really cute door hanger thing and you take like a, a Kentucky Derby hat and you put ribbon around the rim and then you glue some flowers around it so I think I might start doing some of those too those look really pretty have fun shopping Laura shop for me too <laughs> I can't wait to see what you get so thank you all for coming I appreciate it um, I will see you tomorrow and I will have this um, uploaded to YouTube um, tomorrow as well so you can see it there or you can watch the replay if you need to on my Facebook page um, and if you guys have any questions about anything let me know I'll take some pictures of this in the morning after I've messed with it some more um, and that way you can see what it looks like in the daylight and after it's been fixed so thanks for coming I appreciate it